Anthony is a visual craftsman living in Chicago with his sweetheart, workmanship, display chief Brianna. One evening, Brianna's sibling shares the metropolitan legend of Helen, a white alumni understudy who went on a killing binge in the mid-1990s. The story goes that her frenzy finished in a huge fire outside the Cabrini Green Ventures, so, all in all she endeavored to forfeit a baby kid. The occupants had the option to safeguard the youngster from Helen before she died in the fire in a clear demonstration of self-immolation. Frantic for an innovative flash to turn his profession around, Anthony hooks onto this story and meanders around Cabrini Green searching for motivation. He at last gets an opportunity experience with William, a launderette proprietor who acquaints him with the narrative of Candyman. At the point when Burke was a youngster, he had a terrifying experience with Sherman, a snare-gate man whom the police accepted was liable for placing an extremely sharp edge in a sweet treat that wound up in the possession of a white young lady. Burke coincidentally made the police aware of his presence in the walls of one of the pinnacle blocks, driving them to pound the life out of Sherman. Sherman was subsequently absolved when more kids got candy with disposable cutters. The legend goes that rehashing the name Candyman multiple times before a mirror summoned Sherman's soul, so, all in all he shows up in the reflection and kills whoever talked his name. Propelled by this, Anthony fosters a craftsmanship display around the legend of Candyman and features it at Brianna's exhibition yet is overwhelmed when he doesn't get the sort of response he was expecting. That evening, one of Brianna's colleagues and his better half are butchered by Candyman subsequent to saying his name multiple times before a mirror. Their bodies are found toward the beginning of the day by Brianna. More individuals are killed subsequent to rehashing Candyman's name including a craftsmanship pundit and a gathering of high school young ladies. In the meantime, Anthony starts to go through an actual change, coming from a honeybee sting he experienced on his hand while strolling around Cabrini Green. The sting forms into a scab that starts to spread and cover his entire body. Anthony later goes to a medical clinic to get looked at, where he discovers that his mom lied about where he was conceived. Anthony before long visits his mom, who uncovers he was the child Helen saved from the fire the night she kicked the bucket. However truly Helen saved him from Candyman, who kidnapped him and intended to forfeit him in the fire, she never educated him since she maintained that Anthony should get an opportunity at a typical life. The People Group had promised never to rehash the legend of Candyman after that evening and his mom fears what will befall Anthony since somebody has broken their settlement. Anthony leaves surrendered to his destiny and meanders the column places of Cabrini Green. Worried about Anthony, Brianna reviews him referencing that he previously caught wind of Candyman from Burke, so she heads to Cabrini Green in order to track down him. When there, Burke stifles Brianna and takes her to a neglected church, where Anthony has entered a fugue state as his body keeps on crumbling. Burke uncovers that besides the fact that he saw the police beat Sherman the tar out of yet he likewise saw Sherman return later as the Candyman after which he butchered his more established sister when she called him in the washroom reflection of their loft. He intends to have Anthony gunned somewhere near the police, making another legend in which Candyman is an instrument of retribution as opposed to an image of dark agony and languishing. To finish Anthony's change into Candyman, he cut off his right hand and replaces it with a snare. Brianna figures out how to get away from the congregation and is pursued into the Cabrini Green Line houses by Burke, who she violently wounds to death.